Hi dear friends, welcome to Just Notes. I'm Andrea Pozza and in this video you will learn how to improvise melodic lines that match well on the underlying harmonic structure. This basically means to create a melody that crosses two or more chords. Then we'll take a look at some main chords progressions that you'll find hundreds of times in jazz, rock and pop tunes. Let's get started! Since my field is jazz, I will talk about classic jazz and bebop language. But you can use those principles for any style in classical, rock or pop music. First of all, how to create a melodic line across two or more chords? If you have a strong listening background about the music you want to improvise, you can do it by here, without knowing anything about scales. Anyway, this method is very useful to train your ear, so use it. Then you can do the same work using scales, of course. You will need a piano or a keyboard. Let's try to connect two chords that we don't usually find one by the other, like E minor and D flat 7. Okay, we play the first chord and, uh, and we search some notes that match well with this. So, of course, the chords note will match for sure. So, yes, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, mm, this I don't know. So we will have, we found this series of notes. Okay, it's part of the scale, but we don't care. Do the same with the D flat seven. So that the series is now we can practice um, those two series separately, of course, if we need. Um, choose uh, an appropriate tempo, um, so go slow if you need it. One, two, ah, and play the the chord on the first beat of the bar. One. Two, three, As you can see, we have uh, one note in common of the two series. So, this note we can use on both chords. And uh, we can uh, play with it, of course. Let's play the two chords, one bar each. Three, four. Start 
with this. Before we practice some useful progressions, I would like you to notice two very important things that put in relation harmony with melody. The first is that when I play a third, I recall a chord. So if I'm playing in C major with the onion scale, and I play over C major, even if those notes are part of the scale, they don't work, because they recall another chord, they recall a D minor, or a G7. So, if you want to play thirds in your line, uh, be careful to choose uh, the thirds that are part of the chord. The second is the harmonic and melodic movement we find in progression uh, like uh, the second degree going to the fifth or the fifth going to the first. Um, as you see, the seventh of the second degree is going to the third of the fifth degree. Uh, the same, the seventh of the uh, fifth degree is going to the third of the, of the first degree, major or minor. Um, this is important because if we do that in our melody, even without playing the chords, we can hear the movement. We have to be aware of uh, those mechanisms in our improvisation and use them, especially if uh, we approach uh, a language like bebop that uses uh, to describe uh, the harmony. If you check out uh, bebop tunes like Donna Lee, for example, you will find uh, a lot of uh, those uh, solutions. <laughs> Seventh, going to the third. Very important to be effective in your practice. Choose the right tempo for you. It has to be comfortable to follow the harmonic structure and to improvise melodic lines on it. So start with a slow tempo. If you need, practice separately the harmonic structure with the left hand if you are a pianist or playing simple arpeggios with your instrument. Always keeping the tempo, of course. Improvise, keeping the tempo at all cost. Don't stop. If you make mistakes in your improvised line, just stop it, but keep going with the structure and try again with another phrase. Now we'll practice the fifth degree going to the first in this way, using the Mixolydian scale for the fifth and the Ionian scale for the first. Keep in the tempo and uh, choose the uh, uh, right tempo for you. One, two, three, four.
Now we'll do the same going to the first degree minor and we will use for the seventh chord the mixolydian flat 13 and for the first degree the minor uh, melody scale. One, two, three, four. Now let's practice the first degree going to the fourth and we'll use the Ionian scale for the first, the uh, Lydian scale for the fourth and for the seventh chord we, we will use the Mixolydian. One, two, three, four. Now we'll do the same thing in the minor keys and we will use the melodic minor for the first degree, the Doric scale for the fourth and the mixolydian for the seventh chords. One, two, three, four. Now let's practice the 251, it's famous 251 uh, in this uh, way, uh, using uh, the Dorian scale for the second degree 
the mixolydian for the fifth degree and the ionian scale for the first degree. One, two, three, four. Now in the minor keys, and we will use the Locrian scale uh, for the second degree, uh, then the Mixolydian flat 13 for the fifth, and the melodic minor for the first. One, two, three, four. Now let's practice the turnaround in uh, two keys, like that. Of course, we will have to practice in every key, but uh, okay, start with those two. We will use the Ionian scale for the first degree, the Aeolian scale for the sixth degree uh, minor chord, the Dorian scale for the second degree, the Mixolydian for the fifth, the Phrygian scale for the third degree minor chord, and the Mixolydian flat 13 for the sixth degree seven chord. One, two, three, four. Now practice uh, uh, the turnaround in the minor keys and we will use uh, the minor melodic scale for the first degree, the Locrian scale or the Locrian sharp 9 for the half diminished chords and the Mixolydian flat 13 for the 7 chords. One, two, three, four.
Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Remember to subscribe and to leave a comment if you like. In the description below, you'll find some useful resources and links to my website and social network pages. See you on the next videos. Have a nice day, afternoon, evening or night. Bye bye.